Привет! Здравствуйте! Добрый день! I am Irina. I'm the teacher who likes to explain tricky Russian grammar. You ask me difficult questions and I like answering them. So, let's try to translate this phrase into Russian. Я люблю ваши вопросы и также люблю отвечать на них. Or, я люблю ваши вопросы и я тоже люблю отвечать на них. What should we use here? Тоже or также? That's the question. I hope you are puzzled. And while you are thinking over the question, put a like, watch the intro and we are going to continue very soon. Now straight away to the topic. As far as you know, тоже and также are both translated as to, also, as well. До театра можно доехать на автобусе. Доехать туда можно также на метро. На метро туда тоже можно доехать. What have you noticed? Look carefully at the examples again and try to understand why we use также in the first sentence and тоже in the second one. Также is never logically stressed. For example, I can say Доехать туда можно также на метро. На метро туда тоже можно доехать. Have you noticed this? When I was reading the first sentence, также was not stressed because the new information was introduced and the new information was stressed. So that was метро. You can travel there by subway, not something else. So that's why метро was stressed. And in the second sentence you have to stress тоже, like. You have to stress too. I do it too. So I also do it. When you use тоже, so it means that the information you're given is already known and you don't need to stress it. На метро туда тоже можно доехать. Be careful. Также is never stressed, тоже is always logically stressed. Let's look at the other example. Я люблю груши, а также яблоки. Он учит математику, а также русский язык. Я люблю груши и яблоки тоже. Он учит математику и русский язык тоже. So the second thing you have to memorize about тоже and также. When you respond to someone's information, someone's statement, you can skip the main information. You can say only тоже. Я тебя люблю, says your girlfriend, and you respond я тоже. You don't say люблю. Я тоже люблю тебя. Actually, you can say я тоже тебя люблю, but Uh, you can also say a shortened form Я тоже Я тебя люблю Я тоже Я хочу посмотреть фильм Я тоже You don't have to say Я тоже хочу посмотреть фильм Let's look at the dialogue Борис, я сдала экзамен Я тоже Успешно? На ну, отлично Ты тоже? Да Поздравляю тебя я тебя тоже. And the last thing, the third thing you have to memorize about тоже and также. Также introduces additional information, something that we add to what we already know. For example, кроме словарей в этом магазине можно также купить учебники. So everyone knows that you can buy dictionaries in this shop. But it turns out that you also can buy something else here. So in addition to dictionaries, you can buy some textbooks. That's why you use также. Ей нужен не только компьютер, но также и принтер. So let's say we all know that she wants a computer, but it turns out that she also wants a copy machine. 
So let's sum up the lesson. There are three things you have to memorize about тоже and также. The first thing is that также is never stressed. Тоже is always logically stressed. The second thing. Answering or giving response to someone's statement or sentence, you can skip the whole information, the information that we already know, and just say тоже. And the third thing, также always brings in some additional information to the sentence. Ow! Oh, the fourth important rule, how could I forget about it? Subscribe and drop a comment right here. What Russian grammar makes you crazy? Next time I will explain it to you. I'm always interested in what you want to know from Russian grammar, what you want me to explain. For those who like challenges, here I am giving a little exercise for you to fill in the gaps with тоже and также. Good luck!